hi everyone. We really appreciate coaches you being on here. This is such a positive step to help us judges become more consistent with our scoring across the country. For our balance deductions, of course, this isn't including any amplitude, height, distance, or execution. We're only going to be talking about balance. We are trying to break down the balance errors and compartmentalizing them so we can standardize expectations and the deductions. So there's the slight hop or small adjustment and landing elements uh, that's up to one tenth versus, you know, a step is one tenth. The arm swings for balance on landing is up to one tenth. Support of one leg against the side surface of the beam to maintain balance is two tenths each. Your additional movements to maintain balance is up to three, and we categorize them kind of like by a shoulder drop, a twist to the side, a small leg lift, you know, that might be less than horizontal versus a large leg lift that could be above horizontal and higher. Um, then there's also the grasp of the beam to avoid a fall, which is three tenths, and then your fall, which is five tenths, and it could be a fall on the beam or off the beam. And Priscilla is now going to go through the various slides with you. We have 18 different um, productions for you. Here's number one. And we get to see it again. And you can record your deductions. And we came up with nothing. So we get to see it again. Okay, number two. First time effort. And we'll watch it again. And you can record your deductions. And we had a one tenth for a arm circle and a balance check. So here she goes again. Arm circle, balance check. Number three. And here she goes for the second time. And you can record your deduction. And we had an 05 for a shoulder drop, a movement to maintain balance. Here it is again. Dropping her shoulder to maintain her balance. Number four. Here she is again. And you can record your deductions. This is an accumulative 0.15 for three minor errors, a break at the hip, arm movement, and a twisting to the side. Okay, this is number five. This is a dance element. This is a second go. and you record your deduction. This is a good example of a clean break at the hip for two tenth break to horizontal, two tenth. Here she goes again, break at the hip to horizontal, two tenth. This is number six. And again, and record your deduction. This was a cumulative of 0.14, a slight hop, a leg lift, a slight leg lift, and a balance for 0.1. She tries to really hard to stay on, so she doesn't really break form, just slight balance. Number seven, second go at number seven, and record your deductions. 0.15 is the deduction for a larger leg lift, an arm circle, and a slight foot movement. So three things, leg lift, arm movement, and slight movement of the foot. Number eight, a full turn, 
Second performance. And this was a half tenth, again, for a slight shoulder drop to maintain balance. There it is. Okay, this is number nine. Second performance. So these deductions were cumulative for 0.15, including a large leg lift, an arm circle, and a slight foot movement. Three things. Leg lift, arm circle, and a slight foot movement. This is number 10. Second performance. Again, this is just a slight balance check for 05 at the end of that very long acrobatic series. Slight balance check 05. This is the redo, this is the third um, go to see this slight balance check 05 right here, slight check. Okay, number 11, we'll try to pull this one. That's the first performance. Here's the second performance. Okay, so most people are in the one to one and a half range. The deductions were 0.15 for a break at the hips, an arm movement, and a twist to the side, sort of an accumulative effort. Here it is again. 0.15 for twisting, circling, and breaking at the hip. Number 12. A second view. Okay, we've, we've already discussed this, so this should be pretty clear. Two tenths for breaking at the hips to horizontal. Break at the hips to horizontal. Here she goes again, see it a third time. Break at the hips to horizontal, two tenth. Number 13, again, a pull on number 13. Here's our second effort. We have two to two and a half, and most people are three or more. Okay, good. Uh, because we uh, felt like she broke completely without grabbing the beam, so we took a three-tenth error for breaking at the hips below horizontal with a slight balance check. Here she is again, break it horizontal completely over, but saves the fall. Okay, number 14, there's a pull on number 14. Second effort. Okay, we'll pause for a pull. Okay, we're in the one to two and a half range. Most people within the two to two and a half range. Okay, you guys are getting tougher. <laughs> <laughs> so we felt the step backward is considered part of trying to maintain balance. So we took for the step and the arm circle and the twist to the side, but only came up with 0.15. We didn't go into the two category. Here it is again. There were all three things were slight in our estimation. Number 15. And a second performance.
and you record your deductions. And we came up with three tenths accumulative for a large leg lift, another large leg lift, and an arm circle. And here she goes again. One leg up, other leg up, and an arm circle. Or circles, all accumulative. Okay, this is number 16, second go. This is an example of grabbing the beam to maintain balance. It's a flat 3 tenth deduction. This is a good example of that, grabbing the beam to maintain balance. Okay, we're gonna pull number 17 after we see her one more time, grab the beam to try not to fall off. Okay, this is 17, we'll do a pull on this one. And a second effort. And a pull. Okay, just about everybody's got three tenths or more. 91% okay. of the people. <laughs> we're, oh, good. We're all in agreement. There we go. So in this case, she breaks and then she breaks again. So she's trying to stay on, but we had three, five to four on this one. Four, leg up step back, hip bend, hip bend, trying to stay on the beam. Leg up, bend over, bend over again. This is our final uh, performance. And a second performance. And we came up with no deductions. Show you again, no deductions for this performance. Very nice. Okay, Jan, take it away. I'm just wrapping up here just to say that uh, this project was particularly intriguing. And I think, you know, any judge watching this about 50 more or more times, you'll start to get a sense of the complexity of balance errors because the errors occur in multiple planes. But if we work on projects like this, we have one more coming up next Tuesday. Hope everybody is on that one. Um, it's a direction we need to go to continue our ongoing education and to encourage more dialogue between coaches and judges. That's essential. And uh, right now we're all hoping that we have a great holiday, right? And that we get a, a good rest because we're gonna need it as we gear up for, uh, for next, next season. It's gonna be a great one. We're gonna, have a, we're gonna have a great season and we're gonna be free of and unencumbered with bad things, all positive thoughts and uh, great gymnastics. Uh, so I'm very appreciative to be a part of this project with my partners. So that's my, that's my wrap up. <laughs> <laughs>